You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 6. Good morning, Valentine's Day 2018, and uh, there's a reason why you wore green, you said. Right, yeah, a lot of times on Valentine's Day you wear red or green, and this is like kind of like symbolic colors if you're celebrating the day. If maybe you're not celebrating the day and just dating yourself instead, you wear green because green is a complimentary color to both pink and red. Right, so I, I, you're dating yourself now. I'm apparently. dating myself, I'm taking myself on a date for Valentine's yes. Day. I'm gonna have my favorite dinner, I'm gonna watch my favorite movie, Dunkirk, it has no romance in it, and maybe watch a sunset. Well, it should be a good night for you. Date myself. Make your own happiness, people. Yes, That's what we're talking no about. No fights, no misunderstandings. I'm easy to get along with. I'm yeah. low maintenance, yeah. low maintenance. Yeah. What the heck? She, re <laughs> she really is, John, isn't she? Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, absolutely right. I guarantee you, though, your, your e -box, e email box is going to be filled <laughs> oh, no, with man. invitations to watch Dunkirk. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I think so. It uh, should be anyway. We have a lot of uh, Apache fog, especially south of us, but really not a whole lot right over us right now. Ten mile and a ten mile visibility is being reported. There is the potential for some patchy fog to form and that could possibly interfere with your commute, especially from inland areas, but doesn't look like a big problem right now. Forecast calls for some pretty nice weather today. Daytime high will top out about where it did yesterday, maybe a degree or two cooler perhaps. We have a little cloud cover to start the day, come in at 67 by 7 by noon, 80, 82 a little later on. And there's a 10 out of 10 chance of an outdoor recess today for you kids. We'll have the complete forecast in just a few. Back to you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic now. Build up on 301. It just disappeared. There is now one that still <laughs> remains at State Road 70 in the eastbound lane. We'll go live there in a few seconds. We'll tell you why in a moment. Also, University Parkway eastbound around uh, Honoré. Also, Clark Road, little uh, blip there. Actually, Bee Ridge, rather. Uh, let's go to the South <laughs> County map. Uh, nothing there, but we've got one more map to show you this morning, and that is farther south down into Northport, and we'll go there and see a couple issues there on 41. Nothing major to report right now at 6.02 on this Wednesday morning. Well, if you're out and about in the morning rush hour, you know that some areas of traffic are busier and sometimes much harder to navigate than others. So all this week, we're counting down the top five most dangerous intersections on the Sun Coast, and today we're up to number three. Marla Spence is live from State Road 70 and Lockwood. Section that we all know to be one of the busiest intersections on the Sun Coast is also considered to be the, one of the most dangerous, coming in at number three. Now, on average, this intersection sees more than 60,000 cars through this intersection. Unlike the top fourth and the top fifth intersections, this one in particular has a higher crash severity rate, meaning that there are times in the day where there are higher volumes of cars that are speeding. The Sarasota Manatee Metropolitan Planning Organization is working with partner agencies like the Florida Department of Transportation to see what can be done to reduce the number and the risk of severe crashes. The executive director of the organization says that they're working to see what they can do and he says that the number of crashes continue to increase within Manatee and Sarasota counties. Under 100 crashes a year and in 2015 we saw a big jump and in 2016 we saw another jump so we anticipate that before we can get everything to go down uh, it's going to take a lot of work from all of our partners. Yeah, and like I said earlier, traffic is picking up in this area, and it's not even the peak hours. Peak hours for this intersection is between 7.30 to 8.30 each morning, and just so many cars have been passing me by, and it's not even uh, 6.30 yet, so uh, we anticipate more cars to be traveling in this area. Make sure to go to our website, mysuncoastnews.com, and that's where you can see the list of those top three intersections, starting from the top five up until today at top three. Reporting live in Manatee County. County. I'm Marla Spence for ABC 7, your Sun Coast News. All right, thanks, Marla. You can follow her countdown of the top five worst or top five worst intersections all this week. You can find it on our app along with the latest local traffic, road conditions, construction, breaking news, plus that up to the minute first alert forecast. You can find it in the App Store under WWSB or also under My Sun Coast. <laughs> The results in a nationally watched race are in, and most voters in Sarasota County chose Democrat Margaret Good to be the new state lawmaker from this area. Here are the numbers. Good received 52% of the vote. 
Republican James Buchanan, nearly 45 percent. Allison Foxhall, about 3 percent. So Good will replace Alex Miller, who abruptly resigned last year, just a few months into her first term. Good will serve the balance of Miller's term, which at this point is only about nine months. Well, with time ticking on this year's session, it's not clear if Governor Rick Scott will be able to convince the Florida legislature to require nursing homes to have those important backup generators. Just days after Hurricane Irma, 14 residents at a Hollywood Hills nursing home lost their lives following a power outage. Now, the Scott administration and the long-term care industry now want to make it a requirement that nursing homes and assisted living facilities have those backup generators. But lawmakers have not yet approved the rules. On to national news now. A second federal judge has temporarily blocked the Trump administration to end the DACA program. A New York state judge has ruled that DACA participants and states are likely to succeed in challenging how President Trump ends the program. The California judge made a similar ruling last month. President Trump announced last year that the DACA program would end on March 5th. Congress is still trying to negotiate a plan to continue or at least modify DACA, but still, at this hour, there has been no breakthrough. Well, one man is dead after a fall on Mount Hood in Oregon. Others are recovering from injuries that they suffered during the climb. CNN's John Lawrence shows us just how rescue crews were able to save many from the rough conditions. An outdoor expedition turns tragic in Oregon. It was a report uh, via cell phone from one of the uh, persons involved in the climbing that quote was, it was like a bowling alley, meaning talking about the rock fall. Rough conditions on Mount Hood caused havoc for two groups of climbers. A climber in one group fell between 700 to 1,000 feet in the area called Hogsback. The other climbers performed CPR until rescuers arrived. The man was airlifted to a local hospital. He was pronounced dead upon arrival. A female climber in that same group was seriously injured and unable to walk down the mountain. Crews roped her down slowly and she was later transported for medical attention. Many of the rescued climbers are exhausted on various levels. I can't speak to their mental state. I know what mine would be if I was up there though and I'd be a wreck. Mount Hood is just over 11,000 feet above sea level and is nearly 100 square miles. And officials say novices may want to think twice before trying to reach the top. This is a public mountain and we want everybody to be able to enjoy it and we just hope that they use uh, common sense and uh, realize that hey this isn't a uh, you know your, your backyard hill this is a, a mountain that is, is deadly. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Well there have been at least 46 deaths on Mount Hood since 2002 according to Portland Mount Mountain Rescue. The identity of the climber who died will be released pending family notifications. In the Far East, millions of people in China are boarding trains and planes and driving cars to get a jump start on the Lunar New Year celebration. The world's largest seasonal human migration begins just ahead of China's traditional festival. People travel to their hometowns or a vacation spot to ring in their New Year. The China Tourism Academy expects six and a half million people to travel abroad for the Lunar New Year, which takes place this Friday. Well, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory had a pretty awesome view of a total eclipse. Now, the observatory has been looking at the sun from Earth's orbit for eight years now. And during certain times of the year, Earth crosses its view of the sun in an event called a transit that you can see right there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. These images are views of a wavelength of extreme ultraviolet light that is invisible to the human eye. What? This is why silent yeah. science is fabulous. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Were you good in science growing up? Yes, yes. Science yeah. and history were always like my strong suits. Math, not so much. Yeah, me neither. That's why I ended up in a business where I now have to deal with time. Yeah. <laughs> Got an alert last night that it said that the International Space Station will be seen at 7.33 p.m. over the northwestern sky. That's right. And the Scalzi said, you can see it most nights. Yeah, there is. I think it's another sighting tonight that may yes. even be better than last night as well. All right, up next, first alert traffic. And also online dating scams you need to be aware of. That's right. We have some simple tips to keep you safe, especially on this Valentine's Day. We'll have those for you. And speaking of Valentine's Day, here is a shot at a bakery on Fruitville Road that is busy today with lots of Valentine's treats. Cute name, nothing but cakes. Nothing but cakes. <laughs> nothing but cakes. Nothing but cakes. Good nothing morning, Sun Coast <laughs> continues after this. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the mission first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. 
They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. ABC 7 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. We have a 68 degree air temperature outside right now and a dew point value coming in at 66. So they're pretty close together. Winds are a little bit elevated though coming in north northeast at east northeast rather at about seven. We do have a little cloud cover out there. That cloud cover has helped to keep our nighttime temperatures just a little bit warmer actually than 24 hours ago. But I think that cloud cover will start to disperse as we get a little heating and the thin layer of clouds begins to mix away aloft. And uh, we'll be left with a lot of sunshine, I think, later on this afternoon. By 3 p.m., we'll be at 82 degrees. So, again, a warm afternoon shaping up for us. Still, perhaps a degree, maybe, or two cooler than yesterday. That's about it. Otherwise, uh, we're looking at a, a warm trend that continues right on straight through the week. Uh, 72 degrees by 7 p.m. Should be a nice evening, actually. Uh, maybe an isolated shower. That's about it. Otherwise, 90% of us are going to stay dry today. Uh, we'll look for um, temperatures overnight that fall back into the 60s, perhaps a degree or two cooler tomorrow morning than we are this morning. This cloud cover caused by a frontal boundary that's located just to the north in the hour by hour forecast shows that the cloud cover kind of mixes away and then returns at times. That's the thing with these frontal boundaries that are stalled out. They do tend to kind of lift the air a little bit and bring us this kind of cloud cover that we're seeing here. Plus the winds coming in in a certain direction out of the northeast are uh, kind of promote cloud cover and because the atmosphere is very stable those clouds tend to stick during the morning hours but as soon as we can build a little instability in the atmosphere they tend to mix away. Now this afternoon we do have that chance of an isolated shower or two.
But as I said, mostly that'll be in inland areas and they should dissipate out as they move closer to the coast. And I think by the evening hours, we should be in pretty good shape. Then tomorrow morning, again, look for mild conditions, no rainfall, patchy fog. Yep, certainly a possibility again tomorrow morning, just as it is this morning. Whether or not it will be widespread or not, I don't think so, but we'll continue to monitor that, of course, throughout the day. And Bob will have more on that at 5. We have some, uh, some rain showers to the north of us, just kind of skirting the Atlanta airport right now. No big deal. It shouldn't be any impediment to air traffic either in Atlanta or the Raleigh Durham or the Charlotte Airport hubs for us today. Across our area, well, we don't have anything. And as I just mentioned, we probably won't today either. We are kind of in a dry phase right now, warm, hot, dry phase, and we sure could use some rainfall around here. Perhaps we'll uh, see some as we head down the road, but certainly long range forecasts for the next seven to 14 days don't show us very moist at all. In fact, if you look at the three month forecast, it too looks kind of dry. There's our frontal boundary stalled out. What will eventually happen is that high pressure to the north will bridge over this and basically this frontal boundary will wash away. So I think we'll have a little bit more sunshine as we head into the second half of the work week. Warm, partly sunny, isolated sprinkles, slightly cooler, but very subtle differences really. We are looking at temperatures that still are well above average. North Northeast at about 10 this afternoon, shifting to the north at about 10. That's when some cooling will probably occur during the evening hours. Should be a very pleasant evening, I think. We'll look for 82 as a daytime high today, 70s for uh, dinner time tonight. And then as we head into Thursday, 81, perhaps a 79 on Friday before we start to warm again Saturday. And then the next couple of days thereafter, we'll feature temperatures that continue to climb in the mid 80s. Back to you. Thanks, John. Let's take a look at your first alert traffic out there this morning. Taking a look at some of the roads going on. You don't have too much going on in uh, Manatee County. Just a little bit of a slowdown that you're already starting to see there on 301 heading north and southbound in and out of the Bradenton area. Now, if you're looking into North Sarasota County, not too much going on in there. Starting to see some of our usual morning slowdowns around Fruitville Road as well as Bee Ridge Road. Now, for heading into South County, those roads are still looking pretty good out there. Not too much to see. No real slowdowns this time of the day yet. And a little farther south, those roads are looking pretty good. We're starting to see some slowdowns out there on southbound 41, just our typical going in and out of Northport in that area. And a little farther south, again, those roads are looking pretty smooth out there this morning on this beautiful Valentine's Day. Well, millions will be celebrating Valentine's Day, but if you're rolling all Han Solo, Ray, got it. Got Star Wars reference. No worries. <laughs> you can celebrate that too. Singles Awareness Day or sad is the humorous anti-Valentine's Day celebration. Now, according to the U.S. Census, about 45% of Americans over 18 are single. That's about 110 million people. Bars around the country will be holding special singles nights. It's also a great time to buy yourself something nice. Invest in yourself or maybe even pair up some of your single friends so that they can enjoy the holiday together next year. That's an awful acronym. Sad. Isn't it though? Singles yeah. Awareness Day. I was like, oh, that's sad that it's sad. Yeah. Hey, there we go. <laughs> if you've got any great <clears throat> pictures of your Valentine's celebrations, you can send them our way. There's our respective websites. Stephanie Webb site, no pun intended. Right. First time I've used that before. <laughs> There's Instagram as well. We're all over social media, so please reach out to us here at Good Morning Sun. Yes, Coast. we'd love to see your Valentine's Day ideas too if you're doing something creative. We would love to see that. Well, online dating, that's a big one that picks up around this time every year. And social media, of course, have made it easier to meet new people and find that forever date. But sometimes if it's too good to be true when you sign up, it just might be. Scammers are creating some compelling backstories and even fake identities to trick you into falling for someone who doesn't even exist. Now, if you've been thinking about online dating, we do have a few tips to keep you safe. If your potential date never wants to meet in person, that's a huge yeah. red flag. If they claim to be from your hometown, you know, trying to have those things in common with you, but their grammar, their spelling, or maybe their language says otherwise, that's a big red flag. And last, if they have hard luck stories, financial problems or health issues, that's another really big red flag. You're probably going to get head up to help them out. So just move on in that case. And also arrange for a first public date to be very yes. public and yes. also make it quick. Yes. You know? Yes. It's always a good idea to meet for like coffee or drinks. That way you're not yeah. obligated to stay for dinner. Let your girlfriends or guy friends know who you're meeting and where you're meeting them at. Right. Have like maybe somebody text you during the date, you know, just kind of yeah. check on you. Those are some other big ones. When too. I hear friends saying they're going to have 
uh, buy dinner for their first day. Like, That's you want a meter first before you commit to it? Yeah. How about a nice glass of water? It's free. <laughs> With ice. <laughs> yeah. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, a kidnapped 16 year old girl went to great lengths to stay alive. That's right. We're going to have her story in GMA First Look right after this. Nothing but cakes for you today. This is the uh, bakery out on uh, Fruitville Road in Sarasota County near Honore. Neat spot there. There's some balloons at 6.20 a.m. right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. Alex Karras Lincoln's 40th anniversary sale. Please join us in welcoming the two newest additions to the Lincoln lineup, our flagship luxury sedan, the 2018 Lincoln Continental, and the totally redesigned 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Featuring 450 horsepower, 10-speed transmission, and many best-in-class features, Alex Karras Lincoln, where our mission statement is consistent commitment, every client, every time. Located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt would leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop, chop. Call 888 sparky Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Stephen Jaffe. Uh, the law firm's name is Farmer Jaffe. One of the beautiful things about Julius is he's always smiling and it becomes infectious. The fact that Julius has a disability has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of work that he's done. Just a, a great person you want on your staff. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.com employflorida.com. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov slash concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. This is the iconic Love statue in Love Park in Philadelphia. It's actually called the John F. Kennedy Plaza since 1967. That Love statue is bright today, Valentine's Day. And for the past year and a half, the artwork was renovated with the colors restored. The city of brotherly love has had the symbol of love right there since 1976. Well, if you still don't know what to get someone for Valentine's Day, Kim Hutcherson tells us that chocolates are not only romantic, they're also good for your health. There's never a bad time for chocolate. And while it may be linked with love and romance, it also has some healthy benefits. Chocolate's more than just a matter of the heart for what we give to people that we love. Chocolate has nutrients in it that can help us to protect our heart. They're called flavanols, and they help to increase the blood flow to your heart. One study says as little as a quarter of an ounce of chocolate a day may keep the heart doctor away. Dark chocolate, that is. The German Institute of Human Nutrition says it could lower the risk of heart attack or stroke. Another study says chocolate can help improve a person's mood. It's also a good antioxidant and helps with inflammation. However, not all chocolate is created equal. Dark chocolate can be a source of some vitamins and minerals, but it is also going to be a source of added sugar. 
And remember, moderation is key. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. Chocolate will be off limits for some today. It's Ash Wednesday, which signals the start of the holy season of Lent. For 40 days, believers give up something like their favorite food or activity to remember Jesus' fasting in the wilderness. Lent lasts until Easter Sunday on April 1st this year. Well, today is also National Donor Day, a holiday to celebrate those who help save people's lives every day by donating blood, bone marrow, tissue, or even organs in some case. And in most cases, they've saved the lives of someone that they have never even met. Now, if you'd like to give back today, you can make a big difference by donating blood or plasma. Now, this year's flu epidemic has actually left a greater need than usual for those important blood donations. And a soldier at Fort Bragg has been charged with the brutal assault and kidnapping of a 16-year-old girl. Yeah, she survived by pretending to be dead. ABC's Marcus Moore has details of her amazing survival story. In this morning's GMA First Look, it is the cold case that stunned and frightened residents in Cypress, Texas, five years ago. Terrific. A heinous attack on a 16-year-old girl walking by her school one February night in 2013. Kidnapped, brutally assaulted, and abandoned in this wooded area. The teen telling police she played dead to survive. The complainant suffered life-threatening injuries, and to this day, she still deals with lingering effects of the incident. At the time, the only clues investigators had were the young girl's horrifying account of the attack and this sketch of a young white male. Five long years pass and no arrest until now. Police arresting 24-year-old Levi Goss, an Army soldier stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, 1,100 miles away. Here we are today to put this monster behind bars where he belongs. And we'll have the latest on this investigation coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Marcus Moore, ABC News, Dallas. There's only one National Orange Juice brand that only uses 100% American oranges. Simply Orange and Tropicana ship in juice from overseas. Only Florida's Natural grows all of our oranges in Florida. Great taste, naturally. I'm a migraine sufferer and I'm an EMT. When I get a migraine at work, it's debilitating. If I call out with a migraine, that's one less ambulance to serve a community. I just don't want to let these people down. Excedrin Migraine, relief that works as hard as you do. One, or two, or both. Because if Vision Works, when you buy a pair of glasses, you get a second pair free. So an extra pair for you, or a pair to share. Whatever you do, you'll see a better you. Vision Works. Okay, folks, let's get the lady of the house back on her feet and help her feel more strength and energy in just two weeks. The complete balanced nutrition of Ensure with 9 grams of protein and 26 vitamins and minerals. Ensure, always be you. Hi everybody, I'm Chef Mark Positano. This is Chef Bob Vitello from our Publix Aprons Cooking School. What do we got cooking today, Bob? I'm not sure, Mark. I'm not used to being here with you. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is my buddy here. We're gonna do a take on pasta fazio. Well, it's kind of called pasta fazioli or Fas something. something. We're gonna just show you some cool stuff here, okay? We're gonna take pasta. This is a bow tie pasta. We're gonna take a little olive oil. All right, put it in a wok, because everyone does Italian cooking in a wok, of right? Of course. Mark, we do. Of course. But anyways, we're going to take that. Now, I have, now, Publix ground sausage I'm going to put into here, okay? It's already ground, but we're going to brown this off. This is really cool stuff. This is like a, like a steaming bag green bean almond mix. Nice. It's pretty cool. What pretty I did cool. was I just steamed it a little bit, and I have the green beans here. I cut them in half. I'm going to add this. Can we help you out here, bud? You go ahead, man. All right. See? And now we have garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, and olives. We're going to put all that in there. Now, while Mark's doing that, this is something I've never done before, but I tried it. It's pretty cool. It's this lemon vinaigrette. This is going to be our sauce. Now, this is a quick, simple meal. That's what we're trying to do exactly. here. Exactly. So we're going to add a little bit of this vinaigrette. Go ahead, put that Very around nice. here, of course, Mark. Now, what I did, because I can never follow a recipe, I think everyone knows that by yeah. now, is I was looking at this, and I said, hmm, this looks really healthy. How can I make this unhealthy? Let's add a little Let, cream to this. I knew there the cream go. was coming. So you don't have I to add knew that. It was coming. That's what I added to it. Now, kind of, you know, this is kind of fun cooking. We're having, we're making a joke here, but this is a pasta dish. We're Italian. Pasta dishes are the easiest thing in the world to make. We yeah. take our bow tie pasta, mix this in here. All right. You just stir good. that around, and you can serve this. You know, it doesn't have to be sausage. It could be all vegetables if you wanted to. Could it you could use be chicken sausage? You want, 
All right, well, thanks, Bob. Starting tomorrow, be sure to stop by our Publix Apron Sip and Meals kiosk, pick up our recipe card, and all the ingredients after sampling this delicious dish. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Our overall experience working with California Closets was phenomenal. Calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who's professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our <laughs> dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. If you've never truly loved your car, you've clearly never owned a Subaru. Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand, best overall brand, and lowest five-year cost to own. And Subaru Impreza is an IIHS top safety pick for 11 years running. Lease the all-new 2018 Subaru Impreza for just $195 a month for 42 months with zero due at signing. That's right, not one penny. Get more for your money during the Subaru True Love event at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352. That's 1-800-290-0352. Performing on stage takes mental and physical preparation. But one thing I never thought to prepare for was cervical cancer. 91% of cervical cancers are caused by the human papillomavirus, or HPV. The good news is there are vaccines that can protect you or your children from cancer. I survived my cancer, but you can stop cancer before it starts. Talk to your doctor and go to thinkaboutthelink.org to learn more. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast this half hour, the results are in. Sarasota County has a new state representative this morning. All this week, we're counting down the top five dangerous intersections on the Sun Coast, and today I'm live at the third dangerous at State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road. And the completion of a three year project at Tampa International Airport. Those stories, traffic and weather right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. You are watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 6 30. Good morning to you, 5.30 on this Wednesday morning, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2018. I'm Stephanie Webb. I'm Ray Collins. Here's the Miss, Mr. Romantic himself, right. John Skull. Our favorite Valentine. Valentine. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Um, thank you. Happy thank Valentine's you. Day, wife, if you're watching out there. Yeah. Happy Valentine's nice. Day. Uh, Becky in Omayaka coming in at 63 degrees. No reports of fog from her. And uh, Cooper in Central Sarasota comes in with 69 degrees. Thank you, Cooper, for your phone call. We are looking at a commute that should be just fine. I don't see any really problems here. I've checked the fog box. I wish I could half check the fog box because there is potential for fog, but it really hasn't become widespread, and I really don't anticipate it to be a big problem for us today. 10-mile uh, visibility in Sarasota. Venice coming in at 9. Punta Gorda coming in at 10. There are some spots where the visibility is reduced to uh, about a mile and three quarters. 
which is still not too terribly bad. But we still have a couple more hours left before fog would not be an issue. So we'll keep an eye on it. But like I say, not a big problem. 72 by 9 by 12, 80 degrees. We're on our way to another 80 degree day. In fact, we'll top it out at about 82 this afternoon for a daytime high well above average once again, but perhaps slightly cooler than yesterday. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking the roads right now. A few delays there already in Manatee County. A new one there on uh, Cortez westbound as you head toward the beaches. Otherwise, not too bad. The northern half of Sarasota County shows us a little delay on Fruitville Road as you head uh, from uh, Honor Ray toward Cattleman and the interstate. South County, no problems there. And a new map now to the south uh, down to North Northport, 75 northbound. A little blip there on the screen as you head up toward uh, Venice. Otherwise, pretty clear right now at 635. Well, if you plan to hit the road this Valentine's Day, there are certain ones in the area that we all know are much busier and riskier during those rush hours. Our special report all this week, we're counting down the top five most dangerous intersections here on the Sun Coast. We're up to number three today. Our Marla Spence is live from, drum roll, State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road. Marla. Yeah, it's a very busy Wednesday morning right here. This intersection of State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road. This intersection in particular tops the fifth and the fourth dangerous intersections on the Sun Coast, and that's all based on how likely someone could get into a severe accident at this intersection. Now, uh, State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road in particular has had a close eye on it by the Sarasota Manatee Metropolitan planning organization in previous years. State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road has been identified as a dangerous intersection based on the number of crashes. Most of these corridors again have been in the um, identified as it, corridors that, that we have ongoing issues. So, uh, you know, that's where most of the traffic goes and it really depends. If traffic is stopped and fully congested, then your actual crash severity is real low. In regards to this intersection, the crash severity is much higher, making it the third dangerous intersection on the Sun Coast. Make sure you watch uh, Good Morning Sun Coast starting at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning for the second dangerous intersection on the Sun Coast. And Friday, we'll be topping it off with the number one dangerous intersection right here between the Sarasota and Manatee County. Reporting live in Manatee County, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Sun Coast News. All right, thanks, Marla. New this morning, the completion of a three-year project at the Tampa International Airport. The Sky Connect is officially open today. All guests who park in the Economy Garage can now use that Sky Connect to get to and from the main terminal a little quicker. Mm -hmm. That train ride takes less than five minutes. The Sky Connect also stops at the new rental car center where there's a lot more option these days. Guests will now have twice the number of rental car brands, up from eight to 16. That Sky Connect also track covers 7,000 feet. And with it opening on Valentine's Day, the airport is using the hashtag love train. Oh. I like it. <laughs> More shuttle buses. <laughs> Siesta Key lawyer Margaret Good is now your new state representative. She won yesterday's special election to replace Alex Miller in Tallahassee. Here are the numbers. Good, 52%. Republican James Buchanan, nearly 45%. Libertarian Allison Fox saw 3%. The seat became open last year after uh, Alex Miller abruptly resigned, citing family conflicts. Good's term will last for nine months. People who had never canvassed before. It was a big celebration in South Sarasota last night for Margaret Good and her supporters. Cheers, of course, broke out when it was announced that Good had claimed that 52% of the vote. Her campaign raised more than $700,000 and was endorsed by former Vice President Joe Biden and former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley. But Good says it was a community effort that pushed her over the top. A whole host of volunteers and supporters that came out because they believed in what we were doing. They wanted to see a change in Tallahassee, and they got behind it by knocking on doors, by making phone calls, by making contributions to the campaign. And without them, I wouldn't be here today. 
And Good says affordable health care and protecting the environment are a few of the top issues that she wants to tackle in Tallahassee. She also mentioned she wants to champion small businesses and workers here in our area. Not a very happy watch party last night for GOP candidate James Buchanan. He and his supporters rallied, including with his father, the Congressman Vern Buchanan, at uh, Cafe Bocce on US 41 near Bee Ridge Road. The Longboat Key Realtor congratulated Good on her victory. We left everything out on the field, and that's all you can do. And uh, I'm very proud of uh, the, the battle we fought, and I want to congratulate Margaret Good on her victory. As for his future in politics, Buchanan says on this Valentine's Day, he said he'll talk to his wife <laughs> before making a decision. Good idea. Although Allison Foxall did not come out victorious in the race, she did celebrate her campaign efforts on South Siesta Key. Foxall shattered a Libertarian Party state record in her fundraising efforts. She raised almost $30,000 and doubled her total in that final month of fundraising. This morning, a regional opioid crisis meeting at Manatee Memorial Hospital. It starts at 11.30 a.m., open to the public, and be led by a doctor who will discuss alternatives to opioids. The current crisis has claimed the lives of over 165,000 Americans and growing each day. That's more than three times the number of U.S. military deaths during the Vietnam War. The numbers are especially high here on the Sun Coast as well. Manatee County approved a special dedication in honor of a late circuit court judge. Commissioners approved renaming the jury assembly room after senior circuit judge Gilbert Smith Sr. He passed away last, last October at the age of 94. He served as a 12th judicial circuit judge for 20 years. A dedication ceremony for that jury assembly room is set for this Friday. Well, the Trump administration wants to deliver food directly to food stamp recipients. The president's budget director compares the new proposal to a home meal delivery service similar to Blue Apron. Now, the USDA America's Harvest Box would be sent to almost 38 million people, and it would now be filled with staples like milk and fruit, grains and meat and pasta. The Trump administration claims that the new program would save almost $130 billion over the next 10 years. Food stamp recipients would still get about half of their monthly benefit on a cash card. I love that. Today is the first workout for the Pirates to mark their 50th year of spring training. But before they hit the field today, they'll help those in need. The Pirates will be at the Bradenton Our Daily Bread nonprofit with a meal service for the hungry. Way to go, guys. Pirates in Bradenton for 50 years That's right, now. celebrating 50 years this year, officially kicking off this morning. Get out there on the field. The Pirate City, love I that like name that. too. All right, still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, the latest in your first alert, traffic and weather, and attention Medicare Advantage plan holders. Information on your deadline and where to seek assistance here on the Sun Coast. It is 642 right now on this Valentine's Day morning, and we are live at a bakery on Fruitville Road. Clever title, Nothing Bunt Cake. Making us hungry all morning long. <laughs> we'll have uh, John, John Scalzi's <laughs> forecast, traffic updates, and more local news coming up next on Good Morning Sun Coast. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramus. And here is your law tip of the week. If you've been arrested in the state of Florida, the state attorney's office is already working on your prosecution. It's time to work on your defense. So give us a call. We've got your back. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. 
Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment, and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800 685 6422. 800 685 6422. I just had a very educational ride with Nina. Did you learn anything? Where do I begin? So all this stuff goes into a safety check? Yep. It's a long list. It's important stuff. Test the smoke detector. Yep. Check the breaker box. Yep. Meter the GFCIs. Ground fault circuit interrupters. Why do that? <laughs> Call 888-8SPARKY. Nina, you make it look easy. Thanks, but don't do it yourself. Who's your guy? When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver Magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Some more great viewer photos. We just love these. Thanks for sending them in to pixofmysuncoast.com. This is from Anna Maria, who sent one in from Lido Beach from yesterday, showing the ice crystals in the sky acting as prisms and causing a halo around the sun. It's a beautiful sight. And uh, that happened yesterday because the atmosphere was kind of cool aloft. In fact, so cold. Here's another photo sent in from Kathleen showing the, um, the uh, contrail from a, a jet up in the sky. That again, an indication of the cold air aloft. And here was a beautiful, nice shot sent in from Cindy. Uh, sunrise yesterday morning. I don't think it's quite that pristine this morning because of a little bit of cloud cover that's across the region. Temperatures, though, are certainly mild enough. 68 degrees, dew point value coming in at 66. We have some uh, fairly clear skies mixed with fair weather clouds. Nothing producing any rainfall. Maybe some patchy fog around. That would be about the only issue. But I think cloud cover is really helping out on the fog problem this morning. The further south you go, the better your chance of encountering some kind of fog issues, but you'd have to go very far south into Lee County. 82 degrees, our temperature by about 3 p.m. this afternoon, kind of a mix in sun and fair weather clouds. 72 degrees as you head into the evening hours. Should be in the 70s with maybe an isolated shower, but that's about it really. It's going to be a pretty widespread quiet evening tonight, I think, weather-wise. 69 degrees by midnight heading into the 60s, and then we'll bottom it out in the mid to lower 60s as we wake up tomorrow morning. Future cast showing a little bit of that cloud covered around, giving way to more sunshine as dawn breaks and that thin layer of clouds begin to mix away. Maybe later in the afternoon into the evening hours, a few scattered showers riding on an east or northeast wind begin to pop up, but they'll be few and far between and they'll dissipate pretty quickly so that most of the evening hours will be spent pretty quiet. And then as you wake up tomorrow morning, I think we'll probably do it all over again. You know, not much is going to change in our atmosphere. We have a frontal boundary that's kind of meandering through parts of, well, basically over us, but through parts of north central Florida out into the Atlantic and then back out into Gulf waters. It's not very active this morning. Produced more rain showers around yesterday. Showers in the deep south, though, getting pretty close to the Atlanta airport, but really at this point not strong enough to do anything in terms of interrupting air traffic. I think the Atlanta airport, Raleigh, Durham, and Charlotte airports all look just fine for travel today. This frontal boundary, the one that stalled out over us, that's producing the cloud cover, that washes away with time as high pressure bridges over it, so don't really see much of a problem. Warm, partly sunny, isolated, sprinkled. Slightly cooler, maybe just a little because the winds shift a little bit more to the northeast because a little bit of the cloud cover around. I don't think we'll see much of a change. Here is the low temperature trend over the next seven days, and really, we don't variate that much. So if we see any kind of cooler temperatures around, it's going to be subtle and it's only going to be a degree or two over the next couple of days. Northeast wind comes in out of 10 knots, and that should lead to a light chop in two-foot seas, and the seven-day forecast looks great. Looks great. 
Daytime high temperature today, 82. Nighttime temperatures in the 70s, or evening temperatures, I should say. Tomorrow, 81, then 80 and 79, perhaps, will dip into the 70s before we start to warm as we head into the weekend and get back into the mid 80s by next week. Back to you. Well, loving that forecast. Thank you, John. Let's take a look outside for your first alert traffic this morning. Typically, this is around the time of the building. We're already starting to see lots of buildup if you're coming over the Green and DeSoto bridges into the Bradenton area. Lots of congestion in that area, as well as long as State Road 70. Typical slowdowns again, too. You're starting to see some backup on University Parkway, Fruitville, and Bee Ridge roads as well. And then if you're heading into the southern half of Sarasota County, those roads are actually looking pretty smooth out there this morning. No real traffic bumps to uh, take note of this morning. A little farther south, we are having a little bit of congestion on uh, 75, as you can see right there, too, if you're heading towards the Venice and the Osprey area. And, of course, the roads even a little farther south are still running pretty smooth out there. No real big tra traffic snafus. 649 this morning in your first alert traffic. Now, the federal disenrollment period for the Medicare Advantage plan ends today. For seniors, this is the only chance to switch back to the original Medicare. Those in need of assistance can contact the Area Agency on Aging. You can find them through a link on our website, which is mysuncoast.com. All right, let's take a live look outside. You are taking a look at delicious cakes that we've been drooling over all morning at Nothing Bunt Cakes. Those are looking fabulous. I like the little mini ones that we're now seeing oh, out there, yeah. too. Valentine's Day here. It is. There's, there's an a, idea for you. Here's a live picture of uh, the bakery out there on Fruitville Road. We'll update the local news headlines with election results after this. My California Closets designer is a rock star. She was able to design the most beautiful space for me. When I turn the lights on, it's breathtaking. It's just a little slice of organized heaven. The California Closet team was so professional, so reliable. It was seriously a dream come true. My name is Jill, and this is my California Closet story. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740. Rugs as Art. You know the name. You know the building. But do you know what's inside? Yes, Rugs as Art is Florida's number one area rug superstore. But there is so much more. Amazing furniture, accessories, and art. All this and more. Come see for yourself. You'll love our personal touch and be pleasantly surprised by our affordable prices. Rugs as art and more. There is so much more to explore. Chris Domine is a husband, father, an athlete, even an Iron Man. But 10 years ago, Chris's kidneys were failing. The doctor said, if you don't do dialysis, if you don't get a kidney transplant, you are going to die. Then Chris received a second chance, made possible by an organ donor. Your well-being changes from loss of hope to better times ahead. Imagine what you could make possible. Learn more and sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment, and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard.
Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5. Here are some of the stories that we're following for you on the Sun Coast today. Siesta Key lawyer Margaret Good is off to Tallahassee. The Democrat won yesterday's special election to replace Republican Alex Miller in a special state house race. She got 52% of the overall vote. Plus the completion of a three-year project at the Tampa International Airport. The Sky Connect is officially open today. It's going to help guests who park in the economy garage get to and from that main terminal a little quicker. And Manatee Memorial Hospital will host a regional opioid crisis meeting today. It starts at 11.30, and it is indeed open to the public. Here's a broad brush first alert look at the traffic right now. Nothing major to report. Just take it slowly as you head out the doors this morning. John? Yeah, nice day shaping up for us. In a couple of hours, we'll have a 9 o'clock temperature that'll pop in at around 72. We'll get up to about 82 by 3 p.m. A lot of people going out to get hitched again. Yeah. On the, uh, on the Siesta Key, a uh, renewal of your vows. I am not. I'm actually going to be with my wife at the Players Theater tonight doing a benefit for them of love letters. Oh, the good. two of us very will be romantic. doing a very romantic piece that uh, if you have nothing to do, I hope you come out and see. Good plug. I've seen that before, yeah. Well, talk about a hero's welcome. People lined up around the building to welcome Trey Burton back to Venice last night. They lined up an hour before he was scheduled to arrive. The Philadelphia Eagles tight end signed autographs. He said that his dream as a kid was to throw a <laughs> touchdown pass in the Super Bowl, Score. and he did that. As a uh, tight end, he did that. Back here in Venice. Yeah, he was the star quarterback at Venice High School 10 years ago, and last night, wow. welcome back. And our own uh, Jess Dowdrick hustled down there. She's an Eagles fan. Sure did. She was excited about that Anyone one. That? Good get, good get. Got two live shots to close with. First off in Manatee County, busy intersection there at Lockwood Ridge Road and State Road 70. There's the scene. That ranks as number three as there are top five most dangerous intersections. Again, that's State Road 70 at uh, Lockwood Ridge Road. All right, and stick around. Good Morning America is straight ahead next. Thanks for spending some time with us this morning here on Good Morning Sun Coast on ABC7.